Luke sure seems different. Yes, I suppose he's changed a bit. That must have been a tough experience for him. Xer Youth's collapse and Van's betrayal. Well, we'll have to wait to see whether he can truly change or not. I just hope he doesn't let everything get him down. I wouldn't worry. He's got you to depend on. And you as well. I suppose. Anyway, shall we get going? Yes, let's. Cool there. Hey there, people. My name is Tagore, and welcome back to a little more Tales of the Abyss. It's an old game, but... Even these older games can be really fun from time to time. I am low on health. Ow. Guess we won. Cool. <laughs> I need healing. Uh, report mercy. No healing. Why did you wait for me? We're friends, right? Oh, wait. I'm your servant. Sorry. I'm a replica. I'm not your master. It's not like I was acting friendly towards you just because you were my master. What? You're you, and Ash is Ash. Replica or whatever. You're real to me. No matter what the score says, Tyr Teodoro said that the fall of Axarioth was written in the score, right? Yes, it seems Grandfather knew about it. Then, shouldn't we have asked him about what's going to happen next? It might have been helpful. You think so? I'm not really sure about that. If you can't change it... It might be better not to know. Yes, Grandfather probably didn't tell me about Xeriuth for the same reason. Yeah, but... Besides, Grandfather was saying that according to the score, St. Bina is safe. So I doubt it would help us much anyway. Yeah, we won't know if it's going to fall or not until the time comes. But, if there's a chance it will, we can't just ignore it. Yeah, alright, let's go. Making our way. I got some silver mail. We're just making our way through the cave. Do you remember? It was after the kidnapping, so I guess it was right after you were born. What? Did something happen? I asked you if it was hard not having your memory. You said, you can't go forward if you keep looking back. So you didn't need a past. That's what you told me. <laughs> Man, I was stupid. I did not need one. I didn't have one. Actually, I thought it was pretty insightful. I thought it was too. Pretty, uh... Even like the dumbest things that you can think of saying can sound... Um... Inspiring at times. D uh, the... What? I had to have hit that fish. Please heal. Please heal us, Tear. Don't go 
There we go. We're not playing around either. I got some tuna. Hey, we're outside. All right. All and we're cutscenes. been hard on you. I'm in no position to talk. Everybody died because of me. Everyone is dead. <laughs> Absolutely everyone. You didn't have anything to do with it. I'm partly responsible for raising you from a blank slate to a selfish, spoiled kid. Huh? From the start, when you didn't remember how to walk, or didn't know, I guess, I was the one who looked after you. I've really learned my lesson. Hmm. I guess, yeah, that lesson is like... Raise others up to be the best that they can be, even from the start. You crab. All right, let's go. Is this called an iron crab? Oh, that's right. Guy has some healing of his own. Alright, tear do your stuff. Sweet. Also, I really need to look up how to tell them no. Don't use items. How should I try to make up for Xerion? You don't try to make up for it. That's a difficult question. It's not something you can just apologize for. Yeah, apologizing is important, but it can be hard on the one you apologize to. Why? The greater the loss, the more people need someone to hate for it, you know? You might feel better, but the ones you apologize to can't just say, okay, no problem. Huh. Perhaps you should spend your life bearing that responsibility, never forgetting. No, that's too vague. Maybe I should never be happy. No. No, I know that's not right. Are you sure? I mean, I wasn't even supposed to be born, and then I destroyed Exeriuth. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, no more of that. Hearing you talk like that is just annoying. Guy, Luke's thinking seriously about the issue. Just help people. Use the rest of your life to make everyone in the world happy. There's no way I can do that. I know that, you idiot. I mean, you need to put that much effort into it. Oh, right. I get it. I think. This cave... really is... great? Simply for the conversations that these three are having. Luke is trying to understand what he can do uh, to make up for, I mean, not only being mostly the cause of what happened in Xeriu, but just how to be a better person. He feels so responsible for s just that. For causing so much pain to people. And these two are like, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Live enough for those that can't anymore. And just be the best person you can be. Alright, well, whatever. Good over limit. We're all right. 
All right, cool. Hmm. I don't know which path to take. Do I go the one that's throwing crabs at me? I guess that sort of has been the the correct path in general. Yeah. Whoa. Jade? Oh good. I was afraid I might have missed you. Colonel, what are you doing here? I have a favor to ask of Guy. He said he'd wait for Luke here, so I came looking for him. Me? Moses captured Ion and Natalia. No, I'm sorry, what? What? Oh, Luke, you're here too. You got a problem with that? Not especially. Anyway, if we don't rescue them, there's going to be trouble. Yes, there, there is. There aren't any Malkuth forces nearby, so I thought I'd ask for Guy's help. What do you mean by trouble? With the disappearance of Axeriuth, Kim Loska has begun making preparations for war. They probably intend to use Natalia's death as justification. That's right. The people of the Outer Lands don't know why Xeriuth disappeared. Ion was wary of this and returned to the Order to issue a decree. He was captured upon his arrival. Okay, Luke. So we're going in to rescue them. There's no way we're letting a war happen, right? Yeah. Should we head to Doth? Yes, that's the idea. In case you were unaware, Doth is southeast of here. Southeast. I hope you won't get too lost or slow us down too much. Luke, it's not easy to regain trust once you've lost it. I know. A harsh greeting. Well, well, I never imagined traveling with you again. I'm sorry about before. I won't do anything like that again. At least, I'll try not to. I certainly hope not. Come on, Jade, remember when we all first met? Let's trust, let's just take it easy. But too much has changed since then. Yeah. Jade, surely you're not so warped as to enjoy uh, teasing poor, troubled... Well, at least I don't have to be with him for long. I guess I'll just have to manage. So much for taking it easy. And then something about Doth? You know, Doth may actually be one of the safest, safest places in the world. What do you mean? Well, it's the center of a religion based on the score. They wouldn't build that there if it was destined to fall anyway. Indeed. Who used to be considered dangerous because of the Mount Zaleo volcano? But, if the closed score foretold any danger, they would have undoubtedly Come to think of it, how could volcanoes erupt in the Outer Lands anyway? I was wondering about that myself. Yeah, if the Outer Lands are just the crust lifted off the surface of the planet, the volcanoes shouldn't exist at all. That might be related to the Sephiroth trees. It may be that they send not only phonons and memory particles, but also some sort of planetary life force to the surface as well. That's some technology Yulia thought up. Not only Yulia, but her ten disciples, and Dr. Southern Cross as well. Southern Cross. Hey! Turbulence! I think I have Raging Blast set up to steal. I should probably check that. Alright! So I do want to go out this direction, just to see if there was something hiding. You know, tr treasure. I'm talking about treasure. Mew. Curious. It was hidden literally out of view. Nimble Rapier. Didn't I get a couple of good... Is this my second one? 
What do you know? It is. Cool. Uh huh. Since I'm in here, I might as well change up all the equipment that I can. Aquamarine. Whoops. No, wait. I don't want this. There we go. Alright. Let's go out. Go to Doth, which is southeast of here. Maybe I should grind up. I mean, free healing also. Also, th this just seems too open to not have something, like, hiding over here. Aha! Yellow ribbon. I don't quite remember what that does. Alright, to Doth. Oh no! Is there going to be a war? It hasn't started yet. We can still prevent it. But... But, what about St. Bina? Oh yeah, we've got to do something about St. Bina, too. Luke, calm down. First things first, we have to rescue Ion and Natalia from Doth. But Moses is in charge, right? Won't everyone be trying to stop us? We don't have any time to waste dealing with them. Not everyone in the Order listens to Moses. Some are on Ion's side, some are neutral. Don't worry, we have to move quickly, but calmly. Yeah, you're right. I understand. Let's hurry to Doth. Right. So, southeast! I'm assuming just follow this path here. Get away from me, you bug. Um. Oh, that is a full bridge. I hate you. These spawns. Whoops. There we go. And Frigid Blast! 900! Well, how did he change that? Did he charge that with light? What did he charge with light? What became Photon? Alright, are there any... Oh, come on. I would like gathering points. I haven't actually seen those in a while. Okay, energy blast charge with, I'm assuming, light. Wait, was I that low? These birds are so small and hard to hit. And Jade learns Guard Plus. Not quite sure what that does. I mean, I'm assuming I need to be on this lower part. Which makes me wonder what's up here. Apparently pain. Be careful, they're strong. I know, I know! Hmm. 
I was still able to get up. Please don't. Ah, he did it. Maybe I can get more when I get to Doth? I should have quite a bit of money, actually. Can I even... No, I can't. This was just a trap. Oh! There's some sort of pass right here. Okay. Are you also on a pilgrimage to Doth? The cathedral is just beyond this hill. All right. Master, is that Doth? I don't know. Is it? Yes. Ion and Natalia are likely being held inside that cathedral. Understandable, since those two hold the potential to stop the war. Mose won't want them to leave Doth. Can't we just tell my uncle about them being captive? Natalia's probably thought to have been killed in Exeriuth. I think that'd be difficult. Yeah, and Mose has the king's ear too. Let's help them ourselves. Annis is looking into things at the order. Hopefully, we can find her in the city. I guess we'll have to look for her. Hmm. Now, stop the headquarters of the Order of the Lorelite. Isn't it great? I came here on a pilgrimage to hear a more detailed score. Huh. I mean, yeah, they could send a letter. Finding Annis. What do you guys suppose Annis is? She's quite the active one. It may be better to just wait for her to reappear. But she might be running on ahead, like the time at St. Bina. Annis doesn't run ahead needlessly, unlike you. Okay, okay, let's wait then. Oh, come on, Luke. If you let him get away with that, he'll never stop teasing you. Well, he is right about me running ahead. Hmm. It seems you've learned a new trick. Why, it almost sounds like I'm the bad guy. Stop it, all of you. We have to find Annis. Now come on, let's go. Okay. Okay, bye. Oh no! Yep, just charging up my TP. Good. Target that dumb little bird. There we go. Cucumber. I definitely need to find a lot more recipes. I just haven't found any. All right, let's go into Doth. I guess I'm really not talking to too many people, so eh, it's probably my fault anyway. Hey there, we're, ch we're cheaper than anywhere, just 200 gold a night. No need to look at the rooms. Okay, that sounds... Jade, can I ask you a favor? What's this, all of it? I've been thinking of using this phonology book to learn to control hyper-resonance. Will you teach me? I'm afraid not. I can't use the seventh phone on after all. <sighs> I guess I'll have to ask Tyr then. If you don't want to learn from me then... I, I never said that. Would you teach me? Okay. I think it's more like... He... Felt like he was Come burdening on. her How enough already. Do I have to keep doing this? Quiet. Don't just close your eyes. Listen for the phonons flowing through the world. Like I could hear that. Don't listen with your ears. Feel them with every phone slot in your body. Uh... 
I really just phone it in. Ears. Feel them with every phone slot in your body. Major Legretta. Hmm. I think Legretta. Hey, Feel yep, there was. Every phone slot in my body? Yes. Phonons are a combination of sound and elemental properties. It's rare to see them, but your phone slots can perceive them. They feel the vibration. Drawing those phonons into your body is the basis of all phonic arts. Yes, ma'am, I understand. Good. Then let's stop here for today. Tyr, you have talent. I suppose I should expect no less from one who shares Van's blood. Th thank you. Don't let that go to your head. People may treat you more harshly simply because you are Van's sister. As foolish as that is. I understand. I'm ready for that. Then that's enough serious talk. Tyr, I've been given a letter for you from Van. From Van? He's looking forward to seeing how you grow. He eventually plans to ask you to become his right hand. Practice hard so you can meet those expectations. But Major, I couldn't imagine anyone at my brother's side other than you. Why, thank you. But all I can offer is my meager cunning and my memory. So for his sake... Memory? No, for your own sake, more than anything. You must grow strong enough to survive. The world ahead of us will be fraught with chaos. Yes, Major. What does she mean by memory? I hear it. Enough. Remember that feeling of power overflowing from inside you, of your body trembling. Those are phonons. Yeah, I think I understand. Don't rush yourself. This is only the start of your training. I know, but yeah, thanks. Luke is actually starting to take this seriously. May I check your pulse for a minute, Luke? Huh? Okay. Hmm, looks alright for now. Colonel, is there something wrong with Luke? Well, he's the first isophonic replica I've encountered. He seems to be stable at the moment. But, I can't predict what may happen to him in the future. Hmm? Am I going to go crazy or something? There's no fear of that, you're already crazy. Hey, come on! I'll try to check up on you from time to time. But if you feel anything unusual, let me know immediately. Understood? Yeah, thanks, Jade. Luke, thanking me. Would y'all stop doing that? Well, you know, given your usual attitude, your usual attitude! Shut up, thing! Mew. Yeah, there it is. Still not teach, uh, treating Mew any better. Where is a weapons shop? I game to have the score read and find out what I should do now. I'm pretty tired from the travel, but if I spend the night here, it might not I might not be able to afford the score reading. That's sad. Hey there, you guys cook, don't you? Do you cook? Yeah, I do. Then I'll teach you this recipe that's going to be really popular in Doth. <gasps> Pizza! Man, you guys are the first people who ever listen to me. Everyone else just ignores me when I talk to them. I think most people would be creeped out if a stranger suddenly asked them, Do you cook? You think so? Ah, well. Touch of the recipe, so make some pizza. How's the pizza going? Um. Hey, it's chest. Esprit forte. Hey, weapon and armor. So, we just got the Nimble Rapier. Great sword? What does it look like? Okay. Uh... Anis has a Ruby Wand. So, Silver Rod. What is the difference in these? Huh. Whoops. I will get one. And a Partisan? I feel like I'm going to be getting <laughs> uh, Natalia back <laughs> soon. Silver Guard. Oh. Huh. 
I could just go full silver. I could be a silver claimer. Hey, who's that uh, a reference to? All right, then I'll go ahead and equip all this. Wait, was that a 40 boost? I don't know why I haven't sold any of my old equipment. Uh, no, I don't. I was just here. Alright, so I don't know why I haven't really sold any of my old equipment. It's not like I will need it. Hold on, what? There's a person hiding here? My duty right now. What happens if I keep talking to you? Alright, nothing. Hmm? What's this? Luke, you're going to get people angry if you touch their things without asking. Those are items that pilgrims have left behind. You mean it's just junk? Luke, don't be rude. No, that's fine. It really is junk. If you'd like, you may have it. Not like we have any use for this thing. I wonder. It's like a type, it looks like a type of phone machinery. We might be able to use it for something. Huh? Well, okay, I guess we'll take it. Prelude. Interesting. Huh. Well... With that, I hope you've been enjoying this, and please join me again for another episode of Tales of the Abyss.